So yesterday at Google I.O. 2017, there were plenty of major announcements, both big and small. One of the slightly smaller ones, yet still important announcements, is that Google Assistant can now be used on the iPhone. I'm Ian from Your Tech Explained, and let's take a closer look. So the app came out pretty much right after the announcement. So I have it here on my phone and we could dive in and take a closer look at it. It's somewhat different from the Android version in that it's a dedicated app. On Android, Google Assistant is built in by long pressing on the home button. Here on the iPhone, there is no such shortcut. So to access it, you just open an app. So once you go in the app, there's a couple different tabs. There's the explore tab, your stuff, and then of course there's the main screen. And of course, as they promised, you can use the keyboard to input on Google Assistant. So diving into the Explore tab, we see a couple different things. There's actually, it would appear that there's more things to do in here than on Android, but that's not exactly true. What they do is source a lot of different apps and bots. So for example, for music and audio, I see Genius here. There's Song Explorer, there's Google Calendar. There's plenty of different apps that show up in here. And I do like that because that shows Apple users the full scope of what Google Assistant can really do. So there's plenty of that in your stuff. That's where you can see reminders, your agenda, shopping list, and shortcuts. So shortcuts is actually a new area in Google Assistant that I'm really glad it's on iOS now. So you can set a custom hot word like late again and then it sends a text to your best friend, just like that. So you can set custom shortcuts, a really cool feature that's definitely exciting. And of course there's plenty of other stuff, but one of the nice things that I personally enjoy is home control. I already set this up with the smart lights that I have, but it connects to my Philips Hue and my TP-Link Casa. Now here's a nice benefit. I have the first gen Philips Hue that is not compatible with Apple HomeKit. Now, thanks to the Google Assistant app, I can control my first gen Philips Hue lights that otherwise you wouldn't be able to control on the iPhone without going into the terribly slow Philips Hue app. So one of the things I actually haven't touched on yet is how well the Google Assistant works with other apps on the phone. Now, Siri is fully integrated into the Apple ecosystem, so it can do a lot of stuff, but Siri, as we all know, is not the best when it comes to voice recognition and all. But surprisingly, Google Assistant actually does a decent job at interacting with other apps on the iPhone. So for example, I can say, call Alex, and then it prompts me to make a call to one of the Alex's in my contacts, then which number of theirs. It also needs a final confirmation to call that specific number. Compared to Google Assistant on Android, it's nowhere near as fluent. I'm also a big music listener, so when it comes to listening to music, I'd like it to be easy. Unfortunately, it's not. Play the intro by XX. Tap on the screen to choose the app you'd like to use. Now, the only options I get is to do it through YouTube or Apple Music. Play Music and Spotify, which are both installed on my phone, don't work with it yet, so that is definitely unfortunate. But in general, you can imagine that the Google Assistant app will play much better with Google Apps than it will with Apple Apps. However, I really hope that the integration continues to get stronger and stronger as time goes on. But one of the main concerns that a lot of people had was, well, if I have to open an app, then it doesn't pose any real use case for me. And that is true. But the good news is that Google has a widget, so if you swipe to the left from your home screen, the far left on your home screen, you can add a Google Assistant widget that directly allows you to talk to your assistant. This came back from a search. Yeah. So that's it for this quick look at Google Assistant on the iPhone. There's lots of cool features, lots of cool stuff you can do with Google Assistant. If you want to learn more about what it can do, just download the app for yourself. It's in the App Store right now. Download it, check it out, and let us know what you think. 
And as always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then smash that like button and leave a comment. And as always, subscribe for more content.